Broken bones or spinal conditions that may require surgery are on the rise. Today's modern advancements in medicine and science allow small, cost-effective devices to stimulate healing without discomfort to the patient. Electrical bone growth stimulation devices have successfully treated a wide variety of fractures that have not healed, and those include hand, wrist, foot and ankle, as well as many others. For broken bones to heal, a complex healing process takes place. Bone-forming cells at a fracture site participate in active bone formation. In some individuals, however, impaired bone formation occurs and the fracture does not heal. When this occurs, the fracture is called a non-union. In certain non-unions, having a bone growth stimulator may help to heal the fracture by providing an electrical treatment signal at the non-union site. And in certain non-unions, having a bone growth stimulator to help create the right electrical charge at the cell level will actually allow the non-union to heal. Over 95% of the fractures that occur heal without stimulation. Every patient is unique, and there are factors that contribute to non-union, such as diabetes, smoking, and obesity. In order for bone growth stimulation to be indicated, you need to have a non-union where the fracture did not heal. And then, in some of these patients, bone growth stimulation is warranted. So in patients who do not want surgery, often will use it to see if the stimulator can help them heal, and sometimes will use it after surgery in order to try and improve our chances of success. What we're talking about is a FDA-approved device backed by years of research. It's a proven technology and can only be used under the order of a physician. Clinically effective and cost-efficient, these devices may help patients heal and return to their productive lives. We use bone growth stimulation when fractures have not healed. With the use of those stimulators, patients can be treated in the comfort of their own homes. Years of clinical evidence supports improved healing for lumbar spine fusion surgery treated with electrical stimulation. Similarly, these devices are used on patients after primary lumbar spine fusion surgery. With over 300,000 lumbar spine fusions performed each year in the U.S., advancements in technology may improve healing outcomes for patients. A spine fusion is indicated in patients that have uh, failed medical management of their uh, back condition and, and patients that have instability where the vertebrae are moving inappropriately with each other. Today's technology is remarkable for helping indicated patients achieve successful spine fusion. Dr. Sloan can attest to the life-changing impacts for his patients who have used this device. I typically prescribe bone growth stimulators in patients that are at high risk for not healing their bone fusion. I think it's important to remember that each patient is different and the decision to use a bone growth stimulator uh, really has to be made up uh, by the individual surgeon that's evaluating that patient. Prescribed by thousands of physicians to treat more than one million patients, these non-invasive devices may transform patient lives. Patients should discuss all non-invasive stimulation product risks with their surgeon. Having bone growth stimulation allows me yet another tool to help successfully treat fracture non-unions in a difficult group of patients. Biomet's bone stimulation devices are sold only by prescription, and only your doctor can decide whether one of these devices is an option for you. None of these devices should be used if you have or may be in close contact with someone who has a pacemaker, cardiac defibrillator, or any type of implanted or externally worn electrical medical device, or if you are pregnant, or may become pregnant, as the safety of these devices during pregnancy has not been established. To avoid the risk of electrical shock, do not use these devices while near water or while bathing, showering, or swimming. Use of Biomet's bone stimulation devices may impact bone growth if used to treat adolescents. Talk to your doctor to determine whether this treatment is right for them. To avoid possible injury, you should remove these devices prior to any diagnostic testing procedure such as an MRI, CAT scan, or ultrasound. Common adverse reactions have included minor skin rashes, burns, and blistering. In addition to the risks common to all of Biomet's bone stimulation devices, the OrthoPak non-invasive bone growth stimulator system should not be used to treat certain types of non-healing fractures that are malaligned or have fluid-filled gaps. The EBI bone healing system should not be used to treat certain types of non-healing fractures with fluid-filled gaps. Talk to your doctor for more information about these risks or visit our website at learnaboutbonehealing.com.